Hi viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Sanapa. In this video, we will see the uh, see about accelerator relays. Okay, in many control panels and other panels, there are relays used. Okay, what is that relay? Why it is used? For how we can do the wirings and uh, what is it, how it is uh, like called or mentioned? Okay, you will see in this video. So this axillary relays are the um, electrical equipment which uh, which is used to receive and uh, send the signals or multiply the signals to control and monitor in the control panel or control the main equipment in the control panels. Okay. Example: If you are uh, controlling a starter uh, like. Uh, Dual starter, star delta starter, or any other starters. Okay, if you want to receive any ex external signal to control the equipment, so you through this axillary relay we can receive the signal and we can control this uh, main equipment. Also, you can um, uh, send uh, signals from panel to uh, remote equipment like PLCs, cameras. Okay, also. The same uh, signal you can multiply, you can you, you can use by using this relay, you can multiply the same signal, okay. So this we will see in circuit diagram how we can do it, okay. Before that, we will see how these relays are called, okay. How we can uh, like uh, mention this relay by rating and this pin types, okay. So these uh, relays are available like this, okay. We can call or we can mention these relays with the um, connection terminals, number of the connection terminals also operating voltage and controlling controlling voltage okay example now this relay is 8 pin relay okay 8 pin relay with coil voltage 230 and this control voltage also 230 volt okay so 8 pin how we can count 8 pin 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 pin you can see coil coil mentioned 230 volt okay and the changeover contact also is <coughs> 250 volt means 230 volt okay the same case another relay this is 14 pin relay okay so you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 this is 14 uh, a2 is multi uh, a2 two <coughs> terminals given so it is considered as a single terminal okay so total 14 numbers and 230 volt coil 230 volt coil and change over contact is 250 volt okay and this relay you can see this is 11 pin relay 24 volt dc okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 pin relay with the two third uh, sorry 24 volt dc okay so these relays are available with different uh, connection uh, different <coughs> connection terminals under different voltage okay so why these are available in uh, different voltage range and how we can use it in uh, control panels, we will see. Now we will see a simple circuit um, like we will uh, discuss about a DOL starter circuit. How we can uh, use this axillary relay with a different voltage, okay. So we will see. Okay, so this is one normal DOL starter. Okay, you can see one conductor overload relay and control circuit with on off switch and conductor. Once you on this on off switch directly, this conductor will energize, the supply will feed to the motor, motor will run. Okay, here now you want to <coughs> give volt free contact to your remote uh, area like this PLC SCADA that your motor is running, running status. Okay, so not all the contactor is available with the axillary contact NONC okay so in this case what the contactor what we have used that doesn't have any NONC contact but still you want to give um, a rent status whole free rent status to uh, your uh, SCADA or BMS okay this case here with <coughs> parallel connection of contactor you can add one axillary relay Okay, with any pin, uh, like we need only one change over contact, so you can add 6, six pin or 8 pin or 11 pin, 14 pin, okay. 230 volt relay, because this is available, uh, this control circuit is working with 
टू थर्टी वोल्ट ओके टू थर्टी वोल्ट रिले थ्रू दिस रिले यू कैन गिव रेंट स्टेटस टू पीएलसी और स्केडा ओके when the cane one contactor is energized same time the relay coil also will energize this change of contact also will close okay so from plc signal will come come when this contact close this will go to plc that motor is running so here you can use 230 volt relay because your uh, control system is working in 230 volt relay okay now we will this is uh, the relay purpose is sending signal okay now we will see how we can receive uh, the external signal from uh, or by uh, relay okay now <coughs> the same device starter okay so this uh, this is for smoke uh, consider uh, like smoke extract fan when there is a fire happen your fan should start and it will extract and it should extract the uh, smoke at the area where it is installed okay in this case you people very well knows that the fire alarm panel working with 24 volt dc only okay so we have to receive a signal from fire alarm panel to our control panel to run this uh, fan that case what we will do we will install one 24 volt dc relay 24 volt dc relay r1 okay this signal will come from fire alarm panel okay 24 volt dc this relay no contact we will give parallel with on off switch r1 so this case whenever you want to run the fan you can put your switch on off okay once you put your switch on the fan will start okay but unfortunately when the fan is not in on position fire happened so you want to run the fan automatically that case from fire alarm panel 24 volt uh, dc will come and it will this it, it will energize this axillary relay with 24 volt dc coil okay with that coil axillary we have connected our starter okay so again the supply will go to motor and it, it will run and it will extract the smoke until the fire alarm signal release okay so this case this relay is working coil voltage is 24 volt dc and the change over contact rating is 230 volt okay 230 volt ac okay so this is how you can receive external signal uh, and you can operate your axillary relays okay and same thing you can multiply the signals also okay now you have only one contact one contactor without any nync okay so in this case we want to give uh, our rent status to different places like um, one plc one scada or one different area okay same case you can add one axillary relay here this is r r2 so from r2 we can give plc one signal bms r2 and uh, like any other uh, remote monitoring area okay so this is the main purpose of this axillary relays used in the control panels okay Uh, sending a signal to uh, remote areas receiving signals from remote areas and multiply the signals in inside the panels okay so 
these relays are available with different voltage why these relays are available with different voltage because the all uh, all area uh, the control panels or control systems working with different voltages so as per that the uh, relays also available in uh, different voltages actually also different connections okay some somewhere we can we need only one change over somewhere we need three change over somewhere we need four change over somewhere we need 10 change over that case you can add additional relay with parallel connection okay so i hope you understood uh, whatever i explained about this axillary relays okay this axillary relays very important um, components used in the control panels okay so thanks for watching if you are first time watching my channel please do subscribe and also i have posted many videos related electrical electronics plcs okay so if you are interested please watch that videos also thanks for watching i will see you in next video till then bye from senaparajan